about the mental health impact here with Wisdom Powell, the Chief Social Impact and Diversity Officer at Headspace Health. Wisdom, thank you for coming on. You know, this suspect first stopped at a historically black college before then going into this store in a predominantly black neighborhood. What's the emotional impact of an attack like this? Well, first of all, it's important that we recognize the need to hold space for the families and for the victims and allies associated with this tragedy. We know that the emotional weight of these kinds of events are both immediate and long term. In the most immediate aftermath, what you can observe is a heightened sense of anxiety among some people, depression, because these events shake up our sense of certainty. And so they can induce a sense of nervousness and a sense of hopelessness and helplessness if you don't seek support. The important thing to recognize is that there are supports available and that taking care of your mental health in this moment is perhaps the best thing that you can do for yourself and your family, especially the children that are around you observing uh, these events and how you respond to them as an adult. So what tools can people use to to try to carry on? How do you feel safe in your own neighborhood store if this is in the back of your mind? It's hard to shape these events from our imagination because they're so acute. And at this point, they've become almost an American reality, sadly. And so the best thing that you can do, first of all, is to take a break from social media. It's okay to look away from these events and to secure your own oxygen mask first. The other thing is to make sure that you are paying attention to differences in your sleep or differences in your appetite and the ways that you show up in your day-to-day life, because that's likely where you'll see those um, those most pronounced effects appear first. But more importantly, it's, it's important that you recognize that getting help in this moment doesn't represent a sign of weakness. Sometimes, especially in black communities, we we have this myth of being super people, super women, super men, and we can tell ourselves that we're supposed to be strong, tough, and, and silent in this moment when, in fact, what we need are uh, routines and collective outlets for healing and support. So take care of yourself. Stop the doom scrolling that we all can do sometimes in these moments and give yourself the opportunity to collect your stolen breath. Collect your stolen breath. Those are words that will echo for a while. Uh, Is there any way to deal with news like this in an emotionally healthy way where you are processing it? You're not sort of blocking it off and ignoring it, but also not letting it overwhelm you. I mean, Diane, you really raise an important point because the other thing that can happen is that we can suppress these things so long that they actually pop up in different places. We call this a post-suppression rebound effect. And that can happen individually and collectively. So I do think that there are healthy ways to cope. Get active in your community. Hold space, vigil for for individuals. Talk about, process these, uh, these events in community. This has been a collective wounding. Therefore, it will require collective healing. So there are examples of fighting back, um, you know, against these kinds of events with positivity. We see it every day, the good trouble that we're supposed to get into. So there are ways that we can mobilize, take action, and talk to your legislative officials. We know that that at the root of this are issues around how we're going to manage guns in our society. There are so many wavering opinions on that. And yet I still feel there's a happy medium here that can be granted. What can we do as citizens to mobilize around these actions now? Talk to people who are in high places, leverage your privilege, your your power and your vote in this moment to ensure that we develop the policies and procedures that will militate against this kind of violence in our society and really put in a remedy that is structural and not dependent on our individual coping. All right, Wisdom Powell, thank you.